video number two on working through our special right triangle solving. Um, if you would like, pause it and try these and then come back and check your answers since we just did one and two together. Or if you need a little more, obviously hang in there. So again, we have 45, 45, which means, you know, this side and this side are congruent. So those are both X and then X square roots of two. If I were you, I would write this on your paper every time with a highlighter or a colored pen at the moment until you get those memorized. Um, again, you could use Pythagorean theorem here. Because we know this side and this side equals to this, but that's going to be really nasty uh, or potentially could be very nasty for some of us. But so I know already that y is going to be 3 square root of 2 over 2. So y is definitely going to equal 3 square root of 2 over 2. Again, because base angles are congruent means these two sides are congruent along with our rule um, for that 45, 45, 90. But x is going to equal to whatever x is, which in this case is 3 square root of 2 over 2 times the square root of 2. So we're going to write 3 square root of 2 over 2. Be careful. I'm going to put a 1 on the bottom just to make sure that I'm staying good. So square roots of 2 because this is my x. So this in the front is everything we just said x because both legs are equal to 3 square roots of 2 divided by 2. Um, and then we are going to work through that one. So we're going to work straight across the top. So 3 again is just going to fall down because these are whole numbers. Square root of 2 times the square root of 2 Remember, that's just like squaring the square root of 2, which is going to give me times 2. Then we're going to divide the whole thing by 2. And again, if you don't remember what this means, go back to video 1, because that's where I showed you where that is. And then 3 times 2 is 6. Divide by 2 gives us 3. So that looked like it should have been a really big, scary, terrible problem. But in reality, if you just keep using the knowledge, you know, it's really not that bad. So don't let it freak you out. It's a big, bad, ugly looking problem, but really not that big a deal at this point. All right, so look at a number four. Again, it's a 45, 45, 90. So that means I know these two are going to be the same. This is x and this is x. And our hypotenuse is x square roots of 2, always for 45, 45, 90. So if I know x is equal to 3 square roots of 2, and this is not necessarily x to this problem. This is to our ratios. Also, this side, then that means this side is also 3 square roots of 2. So why you already know the answer is 3 square roots of 2 because the legs are congruent for 45, 45, 90. Again, because base angles are congruent, then the corresponding legs are also going to be congruent. So I now know that my x or our leg value is this. So 3 square roots of 2. And we're going to multiply it by, because this is x, so x times the square root of 2. And if you want to put the ones underneath, you can this time. I wouldn't necessarily, it's not necessary since there's not one of them being a fraction. And we're just going to work straight across the top like normal. Um, again, that three whole number is going to come out because he's just a whole number. And then square root of 2 times square root of 2 is going to give me 2. So that means our answer is going to be 6. So x is going to be 6. So x equals 6. I'm going to keep going because we got two more 45, 45, 90s for this worksheet. And then your next video will be your 30, 60, 90. So again, you have 45, 45. So I know these two are congruent. x, x. And this is x square root of 2. So that means 6 is equal to x square root of 2. Once we find out x, then we know the value of our two legs. So 6 equals x square roots of 2. We need to get x by itself, so we're going to divide both sides by the square root of 2. We never want to leave a radical on the bottom, so 6 over square root of 2. To fix it, we can multiply by 1, but in this case, we're trying to get rid of that. So we're going to do square root of 2 over square root of 2, which is the same thing as 1. We're just using it in the form that will make this easiest and cleanest for us the qu most quickly. These two go away. So 6 times the square root of 2 is going to stick. Square root of 2 times the square root of 2, remember, is 2, because it's just like squaring a square root, which gets rid of that square root bar, equals x. And then we can simplify the whole number 6 and the whole number 3, or 2, sorry, it's going to give us 3. So 3 square root of 2 equals x. So one side is going to be 3 square root of 2, and because we know it's a 45, 45, 90, then we know the other side is also going to be 3 square roots of 2. So x and y are 3 square roots of 2. Last for this worksheet, for the first page anyway, of 45, 45, 90. We've got two square roots of six on the top and then our two legs. Our two legs we know are going to be the same value. And this is x square roots of two. So you can do this a couple of different ways if you wanted. Um, I'm going to go with just the same pattern. x square roots of two is equal to two square roots of x. Sorry, two square roots of six. Then we're going to divide by the square root of two on both sides because that gets rid of it here. 
So x equals 2 square roots of 6 over the square root of 2. And then when we divide that, we can't divide this 2 because that's a whole number. So that's going to stick for sure. He's, he's done. But square root of 6 divided by square root of 2, those are like, we can think of them as like terms. They're both radicals, so they can be simplified. So 6 divided by 2 is going to give me that 3. So we're going to do 2 square root of so 3. And then that can't be simplified anymore. So we're done with that one. And because we know x is 2 square root of 3, we also want to know y is 2 square root of 3 because the two legs are always congruent with 45, 45, 90 triangles. All right, guys, six examples. There you go.